Studnik Aquatics here. I thought I'd do an update on my 75 gallon soft coral tank. It's been set up for about, oh, five months or something like that. One thing I am a little disappointed in is I'm not getting much of the uh, coral and algae coming in. And I did buy two bottles. I bought the purple and the, and the pink from Algae Barn and followed the directions and I did that over a month ago and I'm still just not seeing anything. So I have actually ordered some actual live rock and it's not a lot. I got a nano pack and it does come straight out of the ocean. So I know there's a chance with pests and stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put them in that little 20 long down there with circulation. There's a heater in there and check for pests and see what's, what's on it and what's growing, what's not growing and then move it into here. And that'll bump start that with some copepods and some bacteria and stuff. As far as my parameters go, everything is working absolutely perfect. My corals are doing well. Um, of course, they're small. Um, I have about 14 different corals in there right now, and they're all soft corals. And right now they don't look like much because they are small. But everything is going real well. And I do have a hang-on uh, protein skimmer here that works really good. That's the Reef Octopus Classic 100. Works well. Built this little shelf just to hold my stuff. And... One thing I really like is my switch panel here. It's just so handy to be able to just flip a switch and turn things on and off. I have the hang on refugium. I have picked up a couple of the T5s and these are the Geisman um, Actinic Blues. And I really like the color that they add to this. It just adds quite a bit more color. Uh, one thing I'm really happy with now is my little Recordia is starting to grow up onto the rock wall. So so that's good news. Um, the corals are doing well. My little uh, zoas are, there was only 10 polyps when I got it. And as you can see, there's more than that. So everything is doing real well. I do follow the Red Sea recipe per se. Um, I actually have it right here. I can get it out of there. And you can go online Put in what size tank you have, and this is a 90 gallon soft coral tank, and it tells you everything that you should do, all your parameters, and what to add. Um, there's a couple of purchases I made recently. I fight with the, with the test kits are pretty tough, so I did get the HANA checker here uh, for, for pH. The other thing that I have picked up is I have picked up all of the different uh, test kits. I was using APIs at first because it was you know quite a bit of money to set this up. But I have picked up the Red Sea test kits. I have the calcium. This one has pretty much everything else in it. And there's phosphate. I am uh, using an aquaforest magnesium. And I, I'm going to be ordering another one of these when that runs out. And then I'm also following the foundation um, A, B, and C. And I do that every weekend. So everything is going real well. Other than the fact that, you know, I do have marine velvet in this tank. And after 28 days... My guess is the marine velvet's probably gone, but I'm going to continue to keep this tank fallowed for another month and a half, and I'm going to go 54 days fallow. I do have fish that have been in quarantine for about 25 to 26 days. I have a coral beauty angel. I have um, two engineer gobies. I have a fire fish. And I try to remember what else is in there, but I do have a few fish that are going to be going in here and they will be going in here once, once I get through that 54 days. So anyway, that is an update on my little 75 gallon soft coral tank. This is Dudnick Aquatics and thanks for watching.